Hello, it's called the Boy Scouts of America. You can't just include girls and have it be the same organization. Now, I know that that's a little bit exclusive, but that's the position I'm taking, and I'll tell you why. I was a Boy Scout. In fact, I achieved the rank of Eagle. So I, I was definitely a part of Scouts. I went to Scout camps. I did merit badges. You know, I, I toiled for the scouting achievements that I received. And so did my mom. My mom was absolutely involved in my success in Scouts because she made me do a lot of this stuff even if I didn't want to. So that aside, um, I don't know that this is a good change. Boy Scouts of America existed in tandem with the Girl Scouts, okay? Two separate organizations. And if you're the person in charge of the Girl Scouts right now, you are furious about this kind of announcement from the Boy Scouts of America. And just yesterday, when this announcement was made, I read a statement from the Girl Scouts saying, you know, essentially, professionally, they were disappointed that the Boy Scouts had chosen this course of action instead of trying to appeal to more of the boys who were eligible to join the Boy Scouts of America already because that's 90% of the eligible population. The, the number of people in Boy Scouts is pretty small by comparison. So why not stick with your own demographic and focus on attracting more of those people than you know, encroach on someone else's demographic? So if you're part of the Girl Scouts, you're furious about this. Now, that aside, here's another issue that I think um, may be an un unforeseen consequence. When I went to scout camp, and I was in a scout camp with male leaders, a bunch of other male, you know, boy scouts, right, and male camp counselors, that one or two female to, you know, 700 male um, ratio at that scout camp was an interesting dynamic because by about day three out of that week at scout camp, that camp nurse or that lunch lady, man, were they attractive when even by any other standard they maybe wouldn't have been. So it's kind of a weird dynamic. Do you have scout camp at the same time for boys and girls? And then what do you do when it comes to accommodations, right? Do they have their own tents? Are they sharing tents? Do you have like their own section of camp? Do you alternate weeks? It's like, this is a week for girls, this is a week for boys. All kinds of, of issues that come up. And this is similar to like the, the transgender bathroom debate thing. It's like, it's probably not the end of the world, but there are definitely some issues that people need to think about. And this kind of sweeping change in announcement is, is a big deal. Now, I'll tell you the part of it that I do support that I think, well, why not, right? The Cub Scout level where all the scouts are together and they're effectively in the same unit doing the same activities, boys and girls, I don't really see any issue with that. Um, at that level, they're not really doing any true scouting. It's more like an introduction to the concept of having rank advancements and achievements and things like that. And it's, you know what, not a big deal. But when you get to a point where you are, you know, doing the more serious, substantial scouting program, it's going to be difficult to keep people together. And that's why I think, at, at least for now, the Boy Scouts has decided to keep them separate but equal, to borrow an unpopular term from our history, and have them in parallel tracks. Um, so that might work, but there are issues with it that I've already outlined. I don't know. I just, it, anytime there's a big change like this, it, it's going to cause a lot of angst and anxiety in people. But I don't think this is the right move. Do you just, do you change your name as an organization to the Scouts of America? Because you're no longer the Boy Scouts of America. I don't know. That's weird. And the scouting program, as designed by its founder, was designed to turn boys into men take boys and make them productive members of society that had you know, a multitude of skills, that had a well-rounded skill set that would make them good men. And 
not not to say that girls can't learn to tie knots and start fires and you know go canoeing and go swimming and stuff like that's not something that's exclusively male but as a program designed for the development of youth it is more custom tailored to men and i just don't see girls or, or women coming in droves and creating entire troops and units and being as active and successful as the boys have been. And uh, realizing, obviously, that I'm saying this at a time where the Boy Scouts of America has been on a decline for some time anyway, I think the glory days of the Boy Scouts have passed. And this is probably a desperate attempt to recoup some of their revenue to you know, try to salvage the, the structure of the Boy Scouts of America as they've lost endorsements from key supporting members that they've had in the past. So follow the money. It probably comes down to money. I'm personally not really in favor of this change. There was an existing organization for Girl Scouts that could have operated under those parameters. Um, there's an existing organization for Boy Scouts and they probably should have stuck with their demographic and done more to reach out to more people. But if one unforeseen consequence of this is that market competition now makes Girl Scout cookies cheaper, then everybody wins, right? <laughs> okay, subscribe to this channel. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Do you agree or disagree with this change? I don't know. Time will tell, right? And on this side, check out some of the other videos that I've done. Thanks.